In this video, I'm gonna take you through my morning routine, plus I'll show you more than 35 amazing life hacks and DIYs that will change your life. requested one so I'm super excited about it. I'm gonna show you my morning routine for days when I have a bit more time and I don't have to wake up and run out the door. I also included a bunch of DIYs and life hacks that I use in the morning and that I totally think you should try too. It's like the best workout, nail art, beauty, food and other life hacks mixed into the morning routine. So I can't wait to share with you all of these secrets. Let's just get started. No matter how harsh or painful my wake up call may be, what instantly puts me in a good mood in the morning is having a motivating and uplifting quote near my bed. Seeing this canvas painting reminds me that I should be thankful for another day and that I need to make the most of it. To make this beautiful wall art, start by coloring the background in blue. I wanted to make a nice gradient, so I'm coloring the top half of the canvas in light blue, while on the bottom part I'm using even lighter blue shade. Blend the two colors in the middle to get a smooth transition. Leave the paint to dry completely and start sketching your design with a pencil. You can totally skip this step, but I'm terrible at freehand painting, so I would mess it up for sure. When you're happy with your sketch design, simply color it like you do in the coloring book. Red balloon is done, time for the pink one! To make the edges neat, I recommend laying your elbow on the table and move the brush slowly. You can draw any design on your motivational canvas. Just choose something that makes you happy and puts you in a great mood. It could be your favorite city or your pet anything you love about life. All of my six balloons are colored and looking gorgeous. In order to keep this happy bunch together, we need to tie them, right? I'm using a silver pen to draw a string to each balloon. Drawing thin lines like this with a paintbrush would be way too difficult. A final touch is a big red bow, because who doesn't like bows? To write a quote, I'm using my black permanent marker because writing with a paintbrush calls for a disaster, at least for me. I decided to write adventure is out there on my painting. Seeing this in the morning reminds me that every day is a treasure and I have to make the most of it. Okay, the world is waiting, so let's get ready and start this day. If I feel like a good girl, I make my bed, but this doesn't happen every day. Next, I head to the bathroom to brush my teeth. I got a very cool life hack to show you. This one is especially handy when traveling, when you don't have a glass or a pot to put your toothbrush in. You don't want to lay your toothbrush on a counter, which can be unhygienic. Great solution is to use a laundry pin. Clip it on your toothbrush like this and place it on a counter. Pretty smart, huh? I like to work out in the morning, so I quickly change in my sporty clothes and head to the kitchen. Today I decided to make a mojito, without alcohol, of course. I squeeze the juice of half a lime and pour it into my drinking bottle. I also like to throw in a couple of lime slices. We cannot miss the mint. Mint gives such a nice fresh scent and taste to your drinks. Lastly, add some water or sparkling water. And be careful if you're using sparkling water because, as you can see, it can be pretty aggressive. Gotta pour it into my drinking bottle and my yummy virgin mojito is all ready. I need to eat something to give me energy before my workout, so I made these yogurt berry popsicles the evening before. They are a perfect healthy breakfast on the go and they are extremely easy to make. Take some fruit, I'm using raspberries and blueberries and mash it quickly with a fork. Get your popsicle molds ready and pop in a tablespoon of yogurt. I'm using the Greek version. Then grab a tablespoon of blueberries and add them on top. Make another yogurt layer. Time to add the raspberries, which are one of my favorite fruits. Finish your popsicles with a spoonful of yogurt. Place the lids on and pop these yummy treats into the freezer overnight. Next morning, you have a delicious breakfast on the go ready. Another plus is that they look amazing on pictures. Especially in the summer, I like to go out, grab my bike and eat a popsicle while strolling in the fresh air. I have to put my hair into a ponytail when working out, otherwise it just drives me crazy. But some hair elastics can be harsh, pulling and breaking your hair. An amazing life hack is to make your own hair elastic from an old nylon sock. Cut the top edge of the sock and you have the softest and most gentle elastic that your hair will love. Finally, I'm ready to do some cycling. 
It feels so nice to be able to go out now when it's warmer. In the winter I always do my workout in the living room because it's freezing outside. After my cardio I like to stop and do some strength training. If you want your strength exercises to be more effective, grab some weights. You can easily make them yourself. Fill two bottles with sand or water and you have new pair of weights in no time. Now your squats will be even more effective. Another squat tip is to slightly point your toes out. This way you're also training your inner thighs. Keeping hydrated during the day is super important whether you're working out or not. Let me tell you this lime mint drink is so delicious you need to try it. When I feel like I've done enough of sports for the day, I cycle back home. I don't work out every single day, but lately I've been trying to do it at least two times per week. Before taking a shower, I apply a thick layer of Vaseline on my face. My skin gets red quickly and hot showers aggravate the condition. Applying Vaseline before shower locks in the moisture and prevents your skin from getting dry and irritated. This hack has totally saved my skin and I really recommend you trying it out. <laughs> By the way, how cool is this popsicle shower sponge? While I'm washing my hair, let me share with you the most important hair hacks. Apply your shampoo only on your scalp because this is where the hair gets oily and needs a proper cleanse. From your ears down, apply the conditioner to hydrate your hair. Rinse with a bit colder water to diminish frizz and to make your hair look shiny and pretty. I like to wash my face the last thing in the shower, still using colder water to prevent irritation. An oil-based face wash works best for my sensitive skin. It works wonders in diminishing the frizz. Most of the days I let my hair dry naturally, but when using the hair dryer, always put it on the cold air setting. A great tip for getting more volume is to flip your head upside down when blow drying. This gives you so much volume, it's crazy. Normally I have my part on the right side and my hair looks quite flat that way. For the days when I want extra volume, I make my part on the left and boom, tons of volume. Sometimes I like to pin my hair to keep it off my face, but I don't have any pretty pins. No problem, because here's a super easy DIY that will make all your bobby pins look amazing. All you need are some plain hair pins and nail polish. You know how pretty bobby pins are so much more expensive than the plain ones? Now you can buy them for cheap and then customize them to your liking. If you want to make dotted bobby pins, simply dip a toothpick or dotting tool into the polish and make dots all along the pin. Now tell me if this isn't the best DIY you've ever seen. So useful and done in seconds. I got kind of obsessed and made a bunch of this. Try using metallic and glitter polish too. Your bobby pins will look amazeballs. Ok, hair is done and I love it. Time to sort out my nails. I don't paint them every morning, but I like to do it once every week or so. After applying a base coat, I'm painting my middle finger and pinky with a minty blue polish. On the pointer and thumb, I'm going for corally pink. To make a glittery statement nail, apply two coats of metallic gold on the ring finger. Today I'm going for a colorful leopard print inspired nails and I'm gonna share with you some of my top nail art hacks along the way. Instead of applying chunky glitter polish with a brush, try doing it with a sponge. You would need a lot of coats using a polish brush if you'd want to get this glitter opacity. Well, with the sponge, you get it right away. For the leopard design, start by wiping the brush of your white polish really well. Make a few white patches all over the middle fingernail like this. A great hack is to apply white before layering different polish colors. Every color looks much more vibrant with white underneath. I actually want my patches to be corally pink, so we're gonna apply it on top of white. Take a toothpick and snip away the pointed tip. Dip it into darker blue polish and there you have a DIY dotting tool. Make small dots close together around the pink patches. Don't go all around, but rather make little brackets and C shapes like this. I like leopard nails because you literally can't mess up. The shapes have to be all a bit different and imperfect. In the end, make some dots to fill up the empty spaces. I decided to leave my pointer and pinky in one solid color and only added a blue dot like this. On the thumb, I'm doing the same leopard design as on my middle finger, only switching up the colors. See how vibrant this blue is on top of white? I love it! Dip your toothpick in dark blue and use the dotting motion to draw some brackets and some C shapes around the light blue patches. Make a few dots here and there to fill up the empty spaces. Finish your manicure with a clear top coat to seal the designs and add some shine. How beautiful are these nails, right? I like how easy these were to make, plus no special tools were needed except for the toothpick. Even if you've never tried nail art before, you gotta give this one a go. I love painting my nails, but I hate waiting for my nail polish to dry. A great great hack to make the polish dry faster is to dip your fingers into the ice cold water. That's it, my nails are all done, looking rather epic, so it's time to move on to makeup. 
Before starting with makeup, I like to exfoliate and prep my lips. I made this pretty lip scrub myself. Here's how. I'm making a rainbow scrub, so I need 4 containers. Put 1 tablespoon of sugar in each container. Add half a teaspoon of olive oil. Optionally, you can put in a few drops of flavoring and scent. I went for strawberry and peppermint. Lastly, add some food coloring into each container. I chose green, yellow, blue and red. Mix well until all the ingredients are nicely combined. Pour the scrub mixtures into a little jar or any other container of your choice. In goes my green scrub followed by the blue layer. Here comes the yellow scrub and lastly the red one. How pretty it looks with all the colored layers. This could make for a gorgeous gift as well, but I'm keeping it for myself. I like to rub it on my lips to exfoliate them. Wipe the scrub away or simply eat it because this is completely edible. I'm applying on a bit of lip balm and my lips are all prepped. For my face, I like using the cushion foundations which are becoming very popular lately. They give such a natural and glowy finish to my skin. I don't want no dark circle, so I'm applying concealer on the inner corners of my eyes. To define those eyes, I like to swipe some brown shadow on the crease using a fluffy blending brush. On the lid, I'm first applying some white base using my finger. This makes your lid shadow pop much more, giving you brighter and more awake look. On top of the white base, I'm popping light pinkish eyeshadow using a sponge applicator that came with the palette. Smudging some black shadow on the top lash line makes the lashes look fuller while keeping that natural look. Before curling the lashes, warm your eyelash curler using a blow dryer. The logic is the same as with the hot tools that we use for styling our hair. The lash curl will be more pronounced and will last much longer. If your mascara is a bit old and the brush is getting clumpy, don't stress out. Place the brush under the warm running water for 10 seconds and the brush will be as clean as new. If the mascara itself has dried out, you can dip it into a glass filled with warm water and wait for 10 seconds. The heat will soften up the product and you'll get many more use of your favorite mascara. You can see how much I love this pinky blush, I'm almost out of it. For the lips, I chose this pretty curly pink lipstick. A cool hack which makes your lips appear fuller is using some light shadow, concealer or powder on the center of your lips. Another way to fuller looking lips is making your own plumping lip gloss. Just drip a few drops of peppermint oil into your lip gloss and shake it well. Apply it on and boom, lips look plumpier and prettier. Alright, my makeup is all done and I can finally head to the kitchen to make myself a real tasty breakfast. I like eating fruit in the morning so I'm first gonna make myself a fruit salad. Recently I've learned some awesome fruit cutting hacks that I need to share with you. If you want to cut your grapes in half, the easiest way is to lay a plate upside down on a table. Put on a bunch of grapes and lay another plate on like this. Press the top plate down to keep the grapes in place and cut the grapes with just one swipe of the knife. Voila! All grapes are cut into perfect halves. This hack is seriously epic. For the strawberries, use a straw to remove the green leaves. Like that! No yummy strawberries goes to waste! Cut the kiwi in half and use a spoon to carve out the meat. No more messy peeling with a knife, this literally takes seconds. Lately I've been loving mangoes. Cut along one side up to the pit that's in the middle. Take this mango piece and with the tip of the knife make cuts vertically and horizontally cutting all the way to the peel. Then push the middle of the mango upwards and you'll see perfect cubes sticking out. Cut this with a knife and you have evenly cut mango pieces ready to throw into your fruit salad. What else should I eat for breakfast? Hmm, pancakes! Milk, flour and two eggs are all I need. When you want to separate egg yolks from the egg whites but you mess it up, just squeeze an empty bottle then release it so that the yolk gets sucked inside. Such a great hack that has saved me so many times. To make the pancakes super fluffy, I'm whisking the egg whites until stiff peaks. Time to whisk the yolks as well. At about 2 deciliters of milk, I'm using rice milk and 2 tablespoons of rice flour. Combine the two mixtures in a big bowl and you get the fluffiest pancake batter. Put some coconut or regular oil into the pan. Place in a big cookie mold and pour your pancake mixture inside. This is a great way to make pancakes in fun shapes. Today I went for the hearts. To release a pancake from the mold you may need some help of a knife and a spoon. Gotta flip it around and my pancakes are all done smelling delicious. Finally it's time to put together my breakfast of champs. I'm adding some of my fruit salad on the plate a big spoonful of cream and some sprinkles to make it look totally Instagram worthy. 
how yummy. And yes, most days I eat my breakfast on the couch. <gasps> I forgot to make myself something to drink, so let's quickly make a raspberry lemonade. All we need is a lemon and some raspberries. Cut two lemon slices and put them into a pan. Add some raspberries and pour in half a liter of water. Place the pan over the stove and wait until it starts boiling. There we go, while my drink is cooling down, I'm gonna decorate the glass. Dip the edge of the glass into the lemon juice. Next, dip it in sprinkles or sugar. Instantly, you have the prettiest looking glass ever. This is such a great idea for a party. Another way to take your drinks game to the next level is making these beautiful raspberry ice cubes. Throw one raspberry into each of the ice cube holes. You can use different colored fruits to make colorful ice cubes too. Fill each hole with water and put in the freezer. Ok, back to our drink. Here I'm pouring my raspberry lemonade into the glass. The last thing to add is a big straw and my breakfast, or maybe brunch, is all ready. Of course I don't make such a big breakfast every day. Most of the times I simply eat oatmeal and drink water. But sometimes you gotta treat yourself with a tasty breakfast like this one. Whilst eating I like to browse the internet, watch some videos, answer your comments or just lounge on my sofa. Before going out I need to change into something a bit more presentable and while choosing my outfit I'll show you some amazing fashion life hacks. Your button is about to fall off and you don't have the time to sew it. Relax, use a clear nail polish to temporarily fix it in place. Oh, it happens to everyone. Why deodorant marks on black shirts? All you need is a baby wipe to remove those nasty stains off your shirt. Your favorite sweater starting to look old? Remove the fluff clumps using a razor. Here you can see it even better, your sweater will look as new. No time to iron your dress or a blouse? Use a hair straightener, a perfect hack for traveling too. I love this dress so this is going to be my OOTD and I'm ready to go out. Oh, another hack, if the sole of your shoes gets dirty, simply wipe the stains away with a cotton pad soaked in acetone. Perfect, my shoes look brand new. Weekends or weekdays, I spend most of my days working on videos. Filming, editing, it's my favorite thing in the world. When the days are nice and warm, I love being outside. I like going on hikes with my boyfriend or take a walk down the streets of Bergen. I just try to enjoy the sunshine as much as possible. Yes, I'm still very proud of my nails, I need to stop showing them off. Anyway, every morning is a new beginning and every day is a precious gift. So just smile, take a deep breath and make the most of it. I hope you liked the video and learned some new life hacks that you can use yourself. Give the video a big thumbs up if you want me to film a night routine video soon and tell me in the comments what you ate for breakfast today. I love food so I would like to know. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you soon. Bye! Start each morning with a grateful heart, because I know that you too have so many beautiful reasons to be thankful for.